On March 22, 1933, a few weeks after Adolf Hitler had been appointed Reich Chancellor, a concentration camp for political prisoners was set up in Dachau. Built on an old munitions factory just southeast of the medieval town of Dachau, it was the first to be built in Germany and became known as the blueprint for concentration camps. In the 12 years of its existence, over 200,000 people from all across Europe were imprisoned, and 41,500 were murdered. The camp was used not only to imprison Jews, but German dissidents, outspoken clergymen, Jehovah's Witnesses, homosexuals, and Polish civilians. On the 14th of April, 1945, Heinrich Himmer ordered the evacuation of the camp and the extermination of all inmates at Dachau, writing, No prisoner shall be allowed to fall into the hands of the enemy alive. The medieval site on the grounds of the former concentration camp were established in 1965 in accordance with the plans of their surviving prisoners. It is one of the most visited concentration camps preserved around Germany. Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe, namely, is a memorial in Berlin to the Jewish victims of the Holocaust. During World War II, designed by architect Peter Eisenman, the memorial consists of 19,000 square meter site in the center of Berlin with 2,711 concrete pillars so-called styles of varying heights organized in rows of 54 by 87 to create a grid-like structure. An attached underground place of information holds the names of all known Jewish Holocaust victims. According to Eisenman, the stale are designed to produce an uneasy, confusing atmosphere, and the whole sculpture aims to represent a supposed ordered system that has lost touch with human reason. The memorial reveals the nation's will to face its Nazi past after struggles. The memorial has attracted some controversy and was described by Ignaz Lobis, the then leader of German Jewish community, as unnecessary. Flanders Field and Cemetery and Memorial is the only World War II cemetery in Belgium. It is just outside Wergib. Open every day besides Christmas and New Year's, the cemetery and memorial is in the area known as Flanders Field, where fierce fighting took place throughout World War I on the Western Front. Buried and commemorated here are 411 American servicemen, many of whom had fallen at Spitalis Boschin in the closing days of World War I. This six-acre site was provided in perpetuity by the Belgian government. In the center is a white stone chapel that the headstones are aligned around in four symmetrical areas. The walls of the chapel are inscribed with the names of 43 missing American servicemen who have no known graves. The Soviet War Memorial is a memorial and military cemetery in Berlin's Treptower Park. The memorial was built in Treptower Park, which was previously a sports field. A competition was held after the end of the war of the design of the war memorial. The memorial was completed in 1949 using stones and granite that came from the demolished New Reich Chancellery. The Soviet War Memorial was built to commemorate 5,000 of the 80,000 Soviet soldiers that fell in the Battle of Berlin in April and May of 1945. Opening four years after World War I on May 8, 1949, the memorial served as the Central War Memorial of East Germany. This monument is one of three Soviet memorials built in Berlin at the end of the war. The other two are the Tiergen Tim Memorial in West Berlin and the Soviet War Memorial Skotenholzer Hyde in the Pankow District. These memorials are not only commemorative, but also serve as cemeteries for those killed.